what's up youtube welcome back to another video today we are going to be installing this beautiful 5x5 closure lace wig from eula hair i cut it into a bob and i'm also going to be answering some girl talk questions that i asked you guys on my instagram so before we even get to this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications bell so you never miss a video Jasmine Marie Like y'all please be safe like, I don't have COVID But it's definitely sick First question Have you ever experienced eating a guy's ass? Hell no If a guy asks you to eat his ass I'm going to automatically assume that he is gay Have you ever experienced someone exposing your nudes That you sent to someone else? Honestly, guys, growing up, I was really smart. I never sent guys nudes. I never sent guys, like, I would send thirst traps, but I would never send nudes, like, of my pussy, my boobs, like, I would never do that because I was always afraid that I would get exposed. Like, I would see girls get exposed all the time in middle school, so by the time I was at the age where I was sending thirst traps, nudes just weren't in the question for me like you would have to come see it in person have you ever had sex with more than one guy on the same day in the same 24 hours no uh-uh i've never had sex with more than one guy in the same 24 hours that's crazy that's just something i wouldn't do if you single get it how you live it do what you want to do but for me that's a no have you ever had a guy with stank dick Y'all, let me tell y'all a quick little story time. Is this even hot? This is not even on. I had a boyfriend in ninth grade. He played baseball. He picked me up after he came from baseball practice. We was getting freaky in his car or whatever, and he pulled out his junk, and it literally made the whole car stink. Like, as soon as he pulled down his pants, the whole car stunk. Did you seriously, like, just come pick me up after practice, not even take a shower, and expect me to get freaky with you, and your, your dick smells like cottage cheese? Smells like spoiled milk or rotting mayonnaise. Like, have I ever slept with somebody's man before? Um, if I have slept with somebody's man, I didn't know he had a girlfriend. Uh, I don't do, like, and this is like honest to God, like right hand to God. I do not like niggas with girlfriends because their girl, like, if you have a girlfriend, more than likely if you're cheating on your girlfriend, your girlfriend's already just gonna do too much. I'm not a side bitch. I'm not finna play the side bitch role. If your girlfriend asked me if we had sex, I'm gonna tell her more than likely because I just don't have time to be involved in nobody's drama. Like, if you are out here cheating on your girl and you're lying to me telling me that you're single and I find out that you have a girlfriend, no. But that's why you all, ladies, let me just tell you, that's why you always do your background information on a nigga. Like, you need to check, like, you need to check. Like, you need to really dig and check and make sure that he's single, make sure that everything he's saying is checking out. Let me give y'all a few tips. If a nigga never lets you come to his house, he has a girlfriend. Secretive about when he when he will call you or he don't answer the phone all the time or you know, he just gotta move around funny, he got a girlfriend. So just pay attention to the signs because these niggas be out here lying and you know, you just can't get caught up in that drama because bitch who got time to deal with nobody girlfriend have you ever ate a girl out before um i don't know if you guys remember this but i told you guys a little while ago that i had a threesome before i had one threesome it was with my boyfriend and i will never ever 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 in life have a threesome again and i ate one girl out during that threesome and i absolutely hated it like i hated it I feel like I washed my mouth out for like days. Like I will never, ever, ever, ever have a threesome again. It just wasn't my vibe. And it's nothing against her. Like I don't feel like she was dirty or anything. I'm just not gay. Like to put it to put it in simple terms, I'm not gay. I like dick. I like boys. And that's it. And how do you deal with detachment issues? Honestly, y'all, when I have a, a, a situation like where I have to cut somebody off, but I still feel attached to them, I will block them on everything. Like a lot of girls be saying that they want to get over they dudes or 
they're ready to like move on but they still stalk the nigga they still you know do all the things that is not moving on so for me if i want to move on i'm blocking you boo like i'm sorry but it's for me like i have to so i'm gonna block him on everything stop stalking him stop watching his shit stop trying to see who he fucking stop stalking the bitches like you gotta stop doing all that shit because the like the more you stop doing it the more you don't know what he's doing and when you don't know what he's doing you don't care what he's doing you feel me like you gotta stop you gotta focus on yourself it's like go hang out with your friends even if you like hang out with your friends all day long and then come home and cry at least you didn't hang out with him you feel me like at least you didn't look at his shit and make yourself more mad like you just gotta stop so that's what i would say um, I was in a three-year relationship and I cut when I tell you I cut that nigga off and never look back and all my friends are like Jasmine How do you always do that? Like just cut a nigga off and never talk to him again. I'm like, it's easy All you got to do is block the nigga just block him It's gonna hurt his feelings ten times worse when you block his ass like and he has no contact with you And he can't even see what you doing unless he's looking from a fake page and not a topic But what's the best to use in your private parts to make it smell bomb? Um, if you ever have an issue with how your coochie smelling, I told y'all this in a previous video. Uh, these Bork Acid Pills are literally amazing. Uh, they help with BV, smell, all of that. So, if your coochie ever not smelling right, pop a Bork Acid Pill in there. Wait like a day before you do anything with the dude and then you're good to go. Is your body count over 10? It is not. Um, my body count is over five, but it's not over 10. So if y'all, to all the nosy motherfuckers that think, that think they know something, there you go. There's some tea. It's over five, but it's not over 10. Who had the worst dick that you ever had? Y'all, let me tell you a story. I think I told you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say his name too, cause I don't care. His name was Nick. So Nick and I was friends and Nick literally wanted to have sex with me for like a year. And I always curved him, always didn't like want to have sex with him. And then one day he invited me over for breakfast. I went to breakfast with him and I came back to his apartment and this nigga literally like pulled down my pants and started eating me out. And when he started eating me out, I was like, oh my God. And then he literally just got up and stuck his dingling in me and it was so small like I literally couldn't even feel nothing it was so small and he thought he was really doing something with that shit but it was uh, uh it was terrible so that was the worst guy I've ever had sex with and after we had sex I ghosted him and never talked to him again and he's like was literally commenting on my Instagram live calling my sister trying to get me to uh talk to him but it was just raps like I just felt violated, like damn. Like I felt like it wasn't my decision to have sex. Like he just kind of forced it. So that's what really pissed me off because I didn't like that. Have you ever had to fake moan? Um, honestly y'all, maybe like in high school I used to fake moan, but now I'm grown. If you're not hitting the right spots, I'm not moaning because like sex, like men don't realize, but sex should be enjoyable for men and women. And so if I'm not able to come, if I'm not able to reach my climax, then why is we having sex? Like, how do you have, uh, how do you squirt? Honestly, you have to know your body. Everybody has their own spots and their own um, areas like that make you excited. So once you like, I would suggest getting a toy and really experimenting with your own body. Like, for me, it's a certain position that'll make me happy faster than other positions. But I'll say, like, really just learn yourself, learn your body. Because once you do that, then you can kind of teach a guy how to properly do that to you. Thoughts about soul ties, y'all. Do not have raw sex unless, if you're a woman, do not have raw sex, like, unless you're ready for everything that comes with it. Like, men, they can have raw sex with bitches and not feel shit. But for as a woman, y'all, it's so important to protect yourself because, hear me out, men go inside women, okay? We don't go inside men, okay? They go inside of us. So, 
they they catch soul ties to a certain extent but women we catch all the emotions all the feelings all of that shit from raw sex so please be careful having raw sex because i know there's been times where i'm like feeling a guy and i don't even really like him it's just because we have raw sex that i feel like obligated to him even though i'm not so soul ties is definitely real and women catch them faster than men so i would just say please be careful having raw sex because it'll have you doing some crazy shit okay so a lot of you guys were asking about the threesome thing like how was the threesome experience so let me tell you guys why i had a threesome because i'm not gay like it never ever crossed my mind like oh let me have sex with a female i had a boyfriend the boyfriend that i had of three years i had a homegirl right and i had a feeling that something fishy was going on between them like it was like my intuition like they never showed me no signs that they had done something but just something like i had a, like an intuition feeling like oh these motherfuckers like i feel like they fucked before we were on vacation and I suggested to my boyfriend that we should have a threesome with my friend. She was a little too excited to do it. Like she wanted to do it. The whole time I did not like it. Like, and then when it was her turn to get, you know, to get by my nigga, I almost had a heart attack. Like I almost literally died. Like I could feel my chest in my stomach. Like I'm like, wow, I'm really watching my boyfriend have a threesome or put his dick and my friend like i'm about to die like i literally thought i was about to die i, I wanted to go home early because of that and i was like i hate every i was literally acting so weird i was like i hate everybody i can't believe we just had a threesome like i hated it i hate both of you fuck everybody like that's that was my mood i don't know why i was like that but that's how i was feeling how do you feel about friends with benefits honestly y'all my best relationship happened from a guy that i was friends with benefits with first so we was friends for a really long time we ended up having sex and then we became more than friends and he was literally the best guy ever and it only didn't work out because he moved states but we're still friends and we're still close to this day so friends with benefits for me is a guess right now i don't have a friends with benefits but I'm definitely not opposed to it like yeah, how do you peep when a bitch is fake a bitch is fake when they can't compliment you on your on your accomplishments, when they can't be happy for you, when they're constantly mad about something, when they're constantly just got some undercover pressure, like, bitch, what the fuck is your issue? Like, I hate hoes that just got some undercover beef. Like, bitch, tell me what's up. Like, tell me what's up. Have you caused the breakup? Yes. I will say out of the, I've only been in three relationships and out of those three, all three of them i broke up with the dude like i don't know like when when something bad happens when i see a red flag and it's like a super huge red flag i gotta go like i'm not gonna sit there and continue to uh be a dumb bitch i'm not gonna sit there and continue to be a dumb bitch and just let you do whatever to me like nah like my 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 dad taught me the first time a man show you who he is believe him and leave like the fuck i'm not gonna continue to sit around and be like oh but I, I think he i think he gonna change i think he gonna do this i think he gonna do that no no they never change they never change and have you ever done anal if so how does it feel uh i told you guys i did anal before one time and it hurt really bad but at the same time it felt good can we talk about your experience with birth control and how it affected you birth control is obviously good if you're trying to not get pregnant but it also affected my body very negatively like i will never get on birth control ever again because it made me like it made me gain weight then it made me lose weight it made me get acne it made me do a whole lot of like different shit like they lost it in my arm and then when they took it out, I was super hormonal and super like, you know, had a lot of shit going on. Birth control just wasn't it for me. And I don't think I'll ever get birth control again. Does your pH balance get thrown off after being came in? Yes, it does. If a guy comes in you, like I said before, pop one of these pop one of these into your coochie and clean that nigga, like clean it out. Because come, 
Like it throws off your pH balance and it can make your vagina have an odor if you don't take care of it. Have you ever had friends that hated on you? Hell, yes. I probably have like four real friends that I've been friends with for years and I would never stop being friends with these people. My friend Sophie, my friend Diamond, uh, my little sister, and my homeboy Diesel. And he's not even a girl. But every other friend I've had has always been a hater or super, super weird. Like people think I can't keep friends, but the thing is I don't stand for fake shit. So if you're being weird, you're being fake, like I'm, I have to cut you off. Like I'm not gonna just sit in your face and be fake with you and kiki kiki. Like nah, like if you rub me the wrong way, like you're done. And that's just how I feel and that's how I've always felt. So that's why bitches get cut out of my life very quickly, very easily. And you guys are like, oh my gosh, Jasmine, why do you always have new friends? I never have like new friends. I just have new bitches I hang out with. And uh, like after a few months, those bitches start showing their true colors and that's when they get cut off. One more question and then I'm gonna wrap this girl talk video up. How do you feel about people calling you um, a thigh? clout chaser and for the streets and like YouTube horror all that shit honestly y'all people can call me whatever they want to call me but at the time where I was collabing with a lot of people it's genuinely because I just wanted to further my YouTube career and it might have came across as a certain kind of way and everybody's entitled to their opinion if you think I'm a hoe then you just think I'm a hoe I'm not here to change your opinion but like I said in previous videos y'all nobody's opinion pays you nobody's opinion really fucking matters like at the end of the day like when you go to sleep at night like nobody's opinion is going to matter like when you die nobody's opinion is going to matter so always keep it true with yourself like if you know who you are and the people closest to you know who you are that's all that should matter like anybody can think what they want but at the end of the day they don't really know you in real life so just keep that in your mind keep going keep pushing and don't let nobody tell you who you are because only you know who you are you can be anybody you want to be okay don't let nobody else tell you who the fuck you are and with that being said y'all that ends this girl talk get ready with me you guys see this little cute little bob you're gonna see it in a couple flicks on instagram it's getting very grown and sexy when i do my makeup it'll definitely look way cuter i just don't have time to really like fix this shit up right now because I'm in a rush but I love you guys so much I hope this girl talk was very much so needed for you and if you want another girl talk make sure you let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video